。好，第廿五条咧就睇翻花嘅结构啦，边一个描述系正確呢？咁成条题目咧就系考翻啦，我哋对于红蕊嘅理解啦，同埋一朵花咧喺佢受精前同受精之后嘅变化嘅。咁其实答案咧已经出现咗噶啦 o v e r l i l 会变成种子 ，A 已经系正確。咁所以重点又摆咗喺 B、C、D 咯。点解佢哋系错呢？ B 啦就話脂肪呢係會變成個種皮嘅，咁佢就錯嘅，因為呢，佢應該係會變成個果實啦。跟住到 C 咯喎，花粉呢，佢哋係雄性配子，呢句呢又錯喎。兩 s 都講到口臭㗎啦，花粉係承載住雄性配子，佢哋並不是雄性配子。我比喻上次都講過啦，水樽入面載住啲水。你可唔可以話個水樽係啲水啊？係錯噶嘛，係咪？而 D 咧就話個 f e l a m e n 咧係承載住呢個花粉嘅，呢、这個都係錯，因為咧應該係花粉囊咧去承載住花粉。Question twenty five is about the flower. Which of the following description of the flower structure is correct? So this question is checking the concept about the stamen and also the flower structure before and after fertilization. And option A is the correct answer. Ovary will form the seed. And for options B, C, D, why they are wrong? For the ovary, it forms the seed coat is wrong because the ovary it should form the fruit. And for option C, pollen gland are the male gametes. Actually, I talk about it for nine thousand times. Pollen gland carry the male gametes. They are not the male gametes. And the metaphor is just like the water bottle and the water. Water bottle contains the water. So can you say that water bottle is the water? It doesn't make sense. And for option D, the filament contains the pollen gland. It should be the pollen sac contains the pollen glands. So that's why option A is correct.